Hey guys, it's Gwen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I hope that you will consider subscribing if you like this type of content. I have a thrift flip video for you. These are two items that I will be using in this video to th uh, flip for you, give you an idea of how you can use these items. I found this box here. It's just a plain wood box from a thrift store uh, quite some time ago. I had my husband drill a hole where I'll be placing this cute little faux looking mercury glass knob that came from Dollar Tree a while ago. Um, when they did have that, I scooped them up. I thought they were super adorable. Once in a while, they do get some cute knobs like crystal knobs of different colors. So definitely check out Dollar Tree. Um, you can also find them at Hobby Lobby if you are in need of any knobs. I took this really pretty pale pink color. It's called champagne pink or pink champagne it's by dixie bell i did give this a good couple of coats making sure i dried in between each coat and then i took a sanding sponge from dollar tree and gave this a really nice rough sanding in corners and different parts of the box where i wanted some wear to show through i do like the distressed look so if you do not like more of a distressed finish or rustic finish then you can leave your paint as is but i do really like adding some chippiness to my paint and once i achieved the look that i was looking for i went ahead and moved on to the next step i will be using some rub-on transfers and um, this is by redesigned by prima and this is really cute it has like different bird motifs and um, floral motifs and things like that very nice shabby chic colors if you will i'm just using this cute little bird i wanted to place it in the center front and center of my drawer well it looks like a drawer now with the knob um, once i have the knob attached to it but again it just started off as being a simple box so if you ever wanted to create a faux drawer like you find at antique stores and things like that you can certainly just take a plain plain box and add a cute knob or handle to it and you can transform any plain old box into such. I also made sure to do a dry fit before placing or burnishing on the transfers because I wanted to ensure that the knob did not cover up any of that cute design. So best way I did this is by placing that knob temporarily down the center and just sort of placing the transfers around to make sure that I had it in the proper placement before I actually burnished the transfers on. And once everything was attached or, you know, uh, placed over the box, I went ahead and added some of this Big Top by DIY just for some extra added coverage or protection to the paint as well as the rub-on transfers. This was super easy thrift flip super cute it's just very simple steps took very little time to do but it makes such a cute impact and can be used in any vignette i would probably use it to display items like just make little cute displays and add florals maybe add like a decorative item in there you can also use it to hold a floral arrangement you can make a floral arrangement using some some uh, foam a floral foam and then just adding all the flowers of your choice or some greenery coming out of it the possibilities and the options are endless you can use this for so many different things there i just went ahead and added the knob it was super easy with that uh, the parts that it came with and here i'm just giving you an idea of the different ways that I can style this. I took two of these bottles that I DIY'd in my previous videos and then added some bunches of roses. And I think that's one cute way of displaying these. And then I also took this cute Dollar Tree sort of a bottle or vase with a bird topper and I placed it in there. I added some fabric. This is just some drop cloth that I had already in, in my stash, just some scraps that I had left over and just scrunched it up to the bottom, just giving it some height. And also you can make sure that they do, that the fabric sort of comes out. And I think it looks super cute. And I can also use it with a little pitcher or vase in there. There's just so many ways that you can display, you 
use that in a display. So we're moving on to my next thrift flip. This is just a cute clock. Um, I was trying to remove the inside so that I can do something decorative to the inner part of this clock. However, um, I figured out that that back cover right there was not removable. It was sort of like soldered to, onto the top. So I didn't want to mess with it anymore for fear of it breaking. And I didn't want to, you know, have the hassle of trying to figure out how to put it back into place once everything, if I ever detached it. So I didn't want to ruin it or anything. So I just kept it the way it was inside. And then I just decided to go ahead and decorate the outside. I took this gypsy green paint by DIY, gave it a good couple coats. Now this is metal. This paint, it's a slick surface. So obviously the paint doesn't necessarily stick on as well. Um, I did have to give it a good couple coats just for some good coverage but as you will see um, once I have everything dry and as you can see here the paint color is turning a lighter color that is what happens with the clay base paint this is the DIY paint so it does start off looking dark but once you dry it, it dries lighter which is pretty cool if when you're looking at it dry into a different color and I really do like that lighter color that it dries up to so here I'm just um, painting the the rest of this clock and here again you'll see that the color is changing to a lighter color i think that's super cool but anyways um once everything was dry i also decided to um just give it some wet distressing originally that wasn't my intention i was simply cleaning out the face of the clock because i had gotten some paint on it and in the process i was touching the paint with that piece of napkin that I dampened with some water and it was removing the paint from different areas. So I went ahead with it and decided, you know, what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it to the rest of the clock. So instead of like your usual um, sanding, sand distressing, I just wet distressed using that wet napkin. So the next thing I did was added some cute bird motif and branches type of transfers also from redesign and I just wanted something to sort of frame out this clock using the outer part of the clock that I painted just adding some decorative elements now I I thought that these branches were super fitting just with the look I was going for I wanted more of like the bird the bird look springy look um sort of like that outdoorsy look I'm not really sure I didn't really have a whole plan going into this I just sort sort of went through my craft stash and I just decided you know I'm gonna use these transfers because I do love birds and I just thought that the branches fit nicely around this clock just you know f framing it out and then I just added some leaves and everything like that so it has a very nature inspired look to it along with the birds and I really do like that look and it really went nicely with the nice green paint color in my opinion. So that was pretty much it to this DIY. I didn't do a whole lot because like I said I planned on adding like a nice decorative background to the inside of the clock. I really wanted to make the clock look different on the inner part of it. And also I wanted to remove like the paper that came with the clock that gives it the time, you know, the different numbers that's written on it. But I was not able to remove that inner part that would allow me to have access to the front portion of that clock to change it up. So like I mentioned, I didn't want to mess with it because I didn't want to end up messing up this clock. So I just decided, you know, I'm just going to make do with what I can. And then after all the transfers were um, added, I went ahead and just added some of this DIY top coat, uh, big top, and then just did that, sealed it in all the way around and all over, just so that the paint would not be able to be reactivated. Because as you saw me do earlier, I was able to sort of 
manipulate or just remove some of the paint just by using a damp napkin and I didn't want that to happen once I had this all said and done I wanted it to remain the way it was so adding this top coat would ensure that my paint would stay in place so again these were just two super easy thrift flips that I had been meaning to do for quite some time but you know I ended up just doing other types of crafts as you have seen me do in all my other videos so it was time to tackle these projects again these are just super easy so if you ever find items like these that are super inexpensive at the thrift store that may not necessarily match your color scheme or your style it's super simple just to update the look and make it your own with some paint and some transfers little embellishments and you have yourself a whole different look that will fit your own home i hope you guys like these ideas as always i would appreciate a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video that i upload thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next one